What's going on, everybody? Today, as part of the Master GL series, I'm going to talk about creating the accounting flex fields, the value sets, and the corresponding values. First, we'll create the accounting flex field structure, and then we'll load the values. All right, let's start with getting the accounting flex field structure in place. I'll add these two to my top 10 list, segments and values. And we'll start off with the structure. General ledger, counting flex field, unfreeze it, create new, give it a name, give it a code, title, description, save it, and let's do the segments. Segment one, we'll do company. Number two, make it account, segment two, cost center, segment three, location, segment four and intercompany segment five let's save that now let's do the flex field qualifiers balancing segment for the company natural account for the account cost center for the cost center location for management segment for the heck of it and intercompany with intercompany and let's save that now let's create the value sets. Got four for the company, save it. Let's do the account, five characters, save it. Call center, four characters, save it. Location, five characters, and save it. And intercompany, four characters, and save it. Let's assign the value sets to each segment, each corresponding segment. And let's save that. Let's close that. Let's freeze it and compile. Now we'll go over to view requests and we'll make sure that everything completes okay. And it does. We'll close that down. Now let's go to the values and we're going to start off with the natural account because it's the big one. And I'm going to use data loader here. This file will be available in the article in the description below. Okay. So you'll notice parents and then regular. Okay. Move this back over. And let's go make sure we have the right window and they match and let's kick it off. All right. So this takes a good bit. So I'm going to massively speed this up for the sake of keeping things interesting. And that's going to do that. Close that. Save that. Yes, yeah, save it. All right, save that. Okay, all good. Let's go confirm. And complete normal. All good. Okay. Let's go to the cost center. Save that. Identify the child for the parent. Let's go do the company. Let's save this. And let's go do the intercompany. Now, intercompany is essentially 
the values of the company, but without the parents. And it is best practices to have a separate value set for intercompany. Save that, confirm, and they're all good. And last but not least, let's go do the location and we'll have values for all the segments. Let's save that, close it, compile, verify, and that will wrap up creating the values and the account structure. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.